Hi, I'm Paul Komar. In this video, I will introduce the ClearCase version importer, which is new in Rational Team Concert 405. First, I will highlight the behavior that makes the new importer different from the other ClearCase connectors. Next, I will describe the usage model. Finally, I will show the steps for using the new importer. Unlike the other ClearCase connectors, the version importer brings into RTC all of the versions of files that it is migrating. Also, the version importer brings over merge information and version attribute values. Finally, the version importer creates change sets that have the creation date of the associated ClearCase version. To use the version importer, you choose the folders that you want to migrate and the configuration that is most important to you. You export the root folders using a view that selects the configuration. The exporter will write files and metadata to the data directory. You can specify the mapping from ClearCase user IDs to Jazz user IDs. You import from the data directory into a component in a stream in RTC source control. You export from ClearCase using a new CLI command. The syntax is shown here. You specify a view extended path name for the root of the tree you want to migrate. You specify a directory where the exporter will write all of its files including version data, metadata, and logs. Optionally, you can specify the format string that will be used to create the RTC change set comment. Let me show you the folder that we will migrate in this video. For this demonstration, I'm going to export this folder that has this symbolic link and this file. The version tree for the file is as follows. Each of these branches was created by a different user. Main alpha. Also note the times. Here's the created by, created in 2013. CSUN, Goinuma, Yuhong. Let me show you the export. Here's the export command. We're going to specify the view extended path name of the folder we want to export, and we're going to write it to this new 405 data directory. 13 versions are exported. Let me switch back to the slides to talk about mapping the users from ClearCase to Jazz. ClearCase and RTC have different domains for their users. To help you migrate meaningfully across domains, you can specify the Jazz user IDs that you want to use to correspond to the IDs from ClearCase. The import phase will use the mapping file when creating change sets in RTC. If you leave entries blank, then the user logged in to run the import will be recorded as the creator of the change sets. Here is the syntax for the import command. Before you run it, you must identify the stream and component into which you want the importer to migrate your sources. I'm going to demonstrate editing the user map properties file and then importing Thirteen file versions imported. Let me show you what it looks like in the Eclipse client. Here's the stream I imported into. Here's the component. The GUI is still showing the initial baseline. Once I refresh, it'll show the baseline that was created by the importer. Here are the files that came over. Here's the symbolic link. Here's the text file. Let me show you the history of the text file and expand it. Note that all of the main versions are mapped to the creator, me. The alpha versions to Shi Han Wan. The beta versions to Tsuncha. Gamma to Masa. And the delta to Yu Hong. Also note that the date created is the same in the, of these change sets is the same as the date of the exported file version. Let's just look at the properties of this 
of any of the versions. Note that we've recorded the original creator, the version name, and the universal selectors, if, which might be useful in the future, as well as the branch name. That concludes the demonstration of the new version importer. Thanks for watching.